All right, hey, what's up? It's Matt, New Haven, Mono Railroad uh, here. Going to do my um, oiling of my Athern F unit. I haven't done this at all because I haven't need, needed to. So let me move this. Ah, there's my tools. Okay, now we're in business. So. Yeah, it's missing a couple screws here for the motor mount, but it's fine. So, let's get the body shell off. If I can grab at it. Oh, there we go. All right, now, if I can get the other side going here. Get into it. Now, I think I bought this, oh there it is, it's marked right in the bottom, F7A, and it says, I don't know what's written on there, if anybody can tell me what, why was it written there, it says F7A, but what's that in the silver paint? down below what is that down below the f7a so I can read that no looks like uh, three zero something Danish B huh. never really noticed it <laughs> interesting but anyway the shells off and let's dive into the worm gears actually no let's go underneath and get the trucks covers off these are plastic they be gentle I'm trying to be as gentle as I can here if I can get the tweezers in there to do a better job So, hopefully everybody's being safe and everything else. Been working, busy. I figured I'd get a couple of these locomotives done. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. Now, that Bachman F unit I did um, was horrible. Grease and everything else. So. Nice purple and clean. Get this piece off here. Oh, there's the wheels. Yes, you can. The prior off. Maybe not. No, you can. It's just gonna figure it out. There it is. Flying. All right, found it. And we'll just clean it out. Get the old grease out of there. There wasn't much in there. Catherine did a really good job on this thing. Especially, I've only had it, oh gosh, uh, since 2007, I think. Bought it in a train set. That's got real bearings in it. Now this, I gotta say, the best locomotive I have for the bearings. 
Not saying that the Bachmans are really bad, but give her the benefit of the doubt. This is easy to work on. Now, I'm gonna take some grease. I have a good slab of it. It's not bad I'm using the dielectric grease on it because the bearings actually had the electricity go through them on the wheels. So that's um, pretty much, there we go. Well, let's see. Some more Put it inside the housing. Take the housing, snap it right back on. Here we go. I'll hold it in place underneath. Oh, yeah, I was gonna oil it. Put a little bit of oil right there. There the end. And a little bit on the back there. Yeah. Okay. We've got this bearing, and that bearing, a little bit of dabs in there. See, it doesn't matter which side is what. I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This is wired all the same. There's that. Bearings greased. Take a little bit of this grease. Spread it out. That'll work its way in. There we go. Assemble it like so. Do the same thing on the other side. I'll cut this one. It's the same as the other side. Oil the bearings in order. And a little bit on this side. Well, come on, it's very easy to uh, maintain. So, I've never done it. Huh. I have never. Honestly, maintain this. Now, oh yeah, that's one thing. I fixed the wire. It's down there. If you can kind of see it there, it's down there. It's I gotta figure out another way to do it. So, anyways, there's that. This looks shoddy, I know. The wiring and all that stuff, it's it's whatever. You do your railroad, I'll do mine. But, you know, I know some people, they'd be like, oh my gosh, you can't have the wires look like that. Well, it's a it, train set locomotive, so. All right, put on the track. Now, Providing the track is a little dirty. Let's see how it runs. You know what? I was gonna put the B on it behind it. Right there. Alright, we got that. Yeah, why not? We'll put the B on it behind it. 
feels more at home. It's behind it. <laughs> now, take this out of my mouth, like so. Give it some power. Oh, now, the reason why it stopped, that switch has an issue. I think that's the one I have to, um, I have to basically solder. Some of these Atlas switches is just so old. You have to solder a wire to bridge that there. The little rivet's probably loose, but a contact down here is a little loose. So anyway, going forward. Switch on and turn it to power. Oh, wrong way. Fifty percent power. Nope. Break. Nice. Back it up. I'd say that was successful. Runs just as nice as it did when it was new. I think it runs a little bit quieter because of the oil and the super lube grease. Anyway, that is it. This is Matt signing off. Have a good one.